What's up, friends? <laughs> I'm back here again. I'm your host, Jason. How's my hair? It's okay. Uh, today, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be, oh, should I say, uh, welcome back to uh, Cooking with Syllables. <laughs> okay, uh, so today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, today we are going to be doing a detox drink. I know I've done this uh, before, but not on this channel. On another channel that I have, um, a per kind of a personal channel with my name attached to it. Um, but that's neither here or there. Near here or there? Near or there? Never mind. But anyways, this is, drink is going to be a little bit different. It's actually going to be a detox lemonade. Lemonade, yeah. Perfect for the springtime, summertime approaching. It's a good, healthy detoxing drink that will keep you hydrated and kind of flush you out at the same time. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients. I'm going to not, I'm not going to edit this part at all. I'm just going to hop right to it. So, the main ingredient, of course, is we're going to already start with ready-made lemonade. That is Minute Maid Lemonade. This is zero sugar. Um, great alternative because you're not looking for anything sugary. It will slow you down. You don't want sugary drinks. This is pink lemonade right here. Uh, sodium, 20 milligrams. That doesn't really matter because we're going to be mixing other stuff with it. And also we're going to be adding water to it as well. Uh, carbs, 2 grams. Sugar, of course, zero. Vitamin C, 80%. Okay, so this is the ingredients right here. So we have purified water, lemon juice from concentrate, less than 1% of natural flavors. It is 5% juice. Now there are other there are other ingredients in here as well. Now there are other better ways you can go about making lemonade. This right here just kind of give it a little flavor. Um is by the Coca-Cola company. <laughs> you know, what's the worst thing you can drink other than Coca-Cola? But uh, yeah, this is just kind of a, a a little bit of a good alternative. Just kind of give it a little bit of a flavor. Like I said, you can make your own lemonade if you want to. Um, a different way, just by adding lemons and water, maybe a little bit of sugar, cane sugar. It's up to you. But we're going to use this nonetheless. Like I said, we're probably going to use maybe... Not even a half of this. And like I said, the rest is going to be water and other ingredients. But that's kind of the main ingredient. Uh, second ingredient, which we're not going to use, we are actually going to do chia seeds. I'm not in a chia mood right now. Ch -ch 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 chia um, But uh, this is a good alternative right here. Uh, it does have iron in it, calcium, fiber. Um, it's a possibility I might add some in here. I'm not really for sure, just for the fiber, uh, you know, fiber benefits. Uh, but yeah, it's, I might add this right here. Another ingredient that I'm not going to add is cucumber. I'm not in the cucumber mood as of right now because I've been eating a lot of cucumbers. Um, so, uh, instead we are actually going to use, let me cover that up because I don't want to show you what store I got it from. Asparagus, right here. Organic asparagus on here saying, what, asparagus? Yeah, this is going to be kind of a substitute for cucumbers. You can use cucumbers if you want to. I like cucumbers, but right now I'm not in the cucumber mood. That's why we're not going to include cucumbers. But we're going to do asparagus right here. Uh, what is that? Three ingredients. Fourth ingredient. Fourth ingredient is going to be... Can you see it? Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper, we're going to use a dab, a smidgen of this, simply because it's a good, how can I say it? Um, it'll flush you out. It'll, it'll flush you out. That's the fourth ingredient, and also it's good for blood flow as well. It moderates the heartbeat, all that stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just making up this stuff as I go along. Um, ginger, I'm using ground ginger right here. There's other in uh, like regular organic ginger you can use. I'm just using it straight out, out of the container right here. Um, just because. <laughs> I just want to. <laughs> I just think it's better flavor. So uh, five ingredients right there. Like I said, there are other more healthier ways you guys can go about making this drink. But I'm just kind of showing you the 
kind of my way of doing it. Just give it a little bit more flavor. But I like, I, like I said, there are more healthier ways you can make this drink. And you can make it any which way you want to with these ingredients, whether they be natural or organic. Uh, what is that? Five ingredients. Six, of course, honey right there. As you can see, I have a little bit of honey left in the bear's head right there. It sounded so wrong. Six ingredient is going to be one... One, two, three, four, five. Sixth ingredient is going to be coconut water. Uh, yes, coconut water. The reason why, well, I got strawberry banana right here. But the benefits of coconut water is all this great stuff in it. And also potassium, good for your heart. Uh, let's see, magnesium, 40, 40 milligrams. Vitamin C has, uh, like I said, uh, magnesium, iron, calcium, vitamin D, um... It's low in sugar content. It does have a little bit of sodium, but like I said, it is. We're going to mix it up so you're not going to be getting all that sodium in it, and it's 100% juice. And this is by Vita Coca, Coco, Coco, Vita Coco. Never mind. Uh, so that is the sixth ingredient. Seventh one we're going to use is a little bit of cranberry, pure cranberry. This is pure cranberry juice, 100% juice right here. Um, it does contain, well, actually, it doesn't contain a lot of sugar. 11 milligrams of sugar, but it does have calcium, potassium in it, vitamin E, vitamin B6, magnesium, all that great stuff in it. And this is good for your intestin intestinal fortitude. Um, I think I just made that up as well. <laughs> and then last but not least is a freaking lemon just to add a lemon give it a little bit more flavor a little bit more lemony taste also i would probably be using oranges as well to add into this mixture you can use oranges as well but i'm just going to be using lemon you can add oranges with the lemons as well but it's just going to be a lemon for today okay guys uh enough of my rambling let's get this party started <sighs> All right, so we've added the water and a little bit of chia seeds. Like I said, I'm not in the chia mood right now, uh, but uh, this is how much water you're pretty much going to need, and the rest is going to be other stuff filled up. Second ingredient we're going to add to it is we're going to add some lemons to it. Okay, so we've cut up the lemons. Um, now, if you guys want to add more water to this, you can. It's really up to you. Like I said, we're going to get a lot of the water from the coconut juice uh, in the lemonade as well. Speaking of lemonades, like I said, we cut up the lemons. We left out the seeds. We're going to squeeze in the lemons. And so, like that, and we're going to just drop it in there. Drop it in there. This is a whole lemon right here. This is going to be a very acidy drink. Uh, not that kind of acidy, but uh, a very acidic drink, should I say. Uh, but with the water and the coconut juice, it's going to tame that acidic taste down. But it's going to be very, very fruitful. Oh, we got a seed trying to escape into our drink right there. Some more seeds. Oh, these seeds. Where did you come from, you sneaky little seeds? All right, let's get that out of there. Out of there. Out of there, seed. I'm trying to do a cooking segment here. Okay. And then there's that. And then there's another seed right here. Man, these seeds are sneaky, aren't they? They're like trying to sneak into the club. Uh, Squeeze the lemony juice in there. And voila. And the third ingredient, well, fourth if you want to count water, will be the asparagus. Okay, do you guys love the smell of fresh cut onion? Or excuse me, lemon? <laughs> I do. Okay, so speaking of fresh cut, we've uh, cut the asparagus up. I maybe cut about four of them up. We're going to put them in here, drop them in there with the lemon. Put the lime in the coconut. <clears throat> or in this case, you put the asparagus in the lemon water. And then you stir it all about if you want to stir it. There's that. We'll just give it a quick stirry stir with the knife. All right. Next ingredient. I'm not adding these ingredients by any specific order. So, next up, cayenne pepper. We're just going to put kind of like a little dab in there. Maybe one, two, 
three, four, five, six shakes. And that should be good for the cayenne pepper. And I almost forgot, guys, uh, cinnamon. You guys can use ground cinnamon, but I'm actually going to use a little bit of a cinnamon stick right here. This is will go well with the cayenne pepper and the ground ginger, which we will add. So we sprinkle in a little bit of the ginger, not too much. You don't want it to be too overpowering. Maybe just four shakes and we are good. Next ingredient is coconut water. Now for those who don't like coconut water, don't like the taste of coconut water, I totally understand. Um, this is straw, that's why I got strawberry, banana, you can get mango, there are different flavors. The coconut water is still overpowering, it, you're still going to taste it. But with all these ingredients, you're probably not going to, the, the coconut water is not going to be as prevalent. So we're going to shake it up before we pour it in here. Pour about a half of coconut water in there like so. So that's how much you should have. Next ingredient, cranberry, pure cranberry. Pour it in here like so. I've, and I'm pretty sure the cranberry is going to overtake the coconut taste. You don't want to put too much in it because this stuff is strong. It is pure cranberry, 100% juice. So maybe, what was that? Maybe four spoonfuls of this cranberry juice. And the cranberry juice is a very overwhelming taste. So it'll go very, very well with the sweetness, the tanginess of the lemonade. Next up is the honey. Honey is very good for your intestinal, intestinal wall. It's very good overall for your body. It's a good substitute for sugar, being that we're putting this lemonade in here and there is no sugar. So maybe about a teaspoon or a big spoon full or maybe two ta two tablespoons of honey will be good for this drink and then we're going to add in the last ingredient all right the next ingredient of course is lemonade zero sugar this is very very sweet um i'm pretty sure this does have some sweetener in it but nonetheless <laughs> Beggars can't be chooser, but like I said, you, there are different alternatives but, ter, alternatives, but as you guys can see, it's pretty much halfway full with all these other ingredients in the coconut juice and cranberry juice. So really, you're not putting that much in it as well. And always, you can water it down as well. So we are pouring in the lemonade. Of course, it's not going to go all the way to the top because you might want to add ice to it as well. So, And you want to be able to stir it and shake it up as well. So there is your finished lemonade. We are going to put it in the refrigerator for overnight to get the best results because the chia seeds need the chia seeds need to grow. Lemon it needs to marinate in there. Same with the asparagus. So when you take it out tomorrow, you're going to have a whole lot of flavor. If you drink it now, you'll have flavor, but it's not going to be the same. You got to let it sit, let it marinate. Same thing with when you put chicken, you know, in whatever kind of sauce or dressing or marinating for it to marinate. Uh, to take on that flavor. Same thing with this drink. There's no exception. I think that was a bad analogy, but I think you guys understood where I was coming from. All right, guys, let's put it overnight, and then we'll give it a taste test tomorrow. Okay, so we are back, guys. Uh, day two. Yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt. It could be the same day. <laughs> uh, I, have, I have stuff to do, so. But anyways, um, we have... Let this sit overnight. Let it sit overnight. Uh, the flavors have all come together. Um, I've put a little bit more water into this. So when you're making this drink, you can do a half. I actually, I would prefer you do half because it is sweet. Didn't realize how sweet the lemonade was. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to go ahead and taste it. See if it's worth the price of admission. Here we go. Oh yes. All right, we just need a little bit right here. We got all these ingredients in here. Look at all this life that's going on in here. Chia seeds, we got asparagus, we got lemon juice, cranberry juice, cayenne pepper. Man, that is, whew. Okay, here we go, we're gonna give it a, a test. 
Wow. Holy crap, that's sweet. <laughs> that's a kick, man. That, whew. That will waste. Now, well, that will get you wasted, but that will wake up your taste buds as well. Um, yeah, my suggestion, uh, if you guys are not, don't really like sweet, sweet stuff, uh, you can add a little bit more water to it, but it is very, very flavorful. It is, it does, it tastes like lemon, lemonade, guys. You can't even taste the coconut water. You can't really taste the cranberry juice. And the 100% cranberry juice, too, I'm pretty sure adds a lot of tart as well. So, um, even though I got the lemonade with zero sugar in it, there are other ingredients in here that do contain sugar. So, other than that, uh, if this doesn't clean out your system, I don't know what will. Uh, like I said, you can add cucumbers and oranges to this drink as well. You can make it, you can do whatever you want, whatever your tolerance tolerance is, whatever. If you don't like sugary drinks, you can always add as much water as you want. 50, 60, 70, 80% water. You can go up to 90% water and just add, you know, the cranberry juice and the coconut water and the lemonade at 20%. And so where you'll still get the flavor, it'll still be more water, waterful, kind of like wonderful. And uh, you'll still get the nutrients and benefits as well. Uh, there's nothing wrong with drinking water. Water is the best way to go. Um, but for a nice cleanliness, cleanliness, cleansing, cleansing of the of your system, a nice detoxification. I'm just making up words as I go along here, guys. Um, this is a great alternative. You can make it to your liking, um, however you want to make it. Uh, this is a really great drink for the summer and also a great workout drink as well. It'll give you a lot of energy and uh, it'll boost your metabolism. All right, guys, there it was. Tell me what you guys thought of this drink. Was it a monstrosity? <laughs> or did I give you some ideas uh, for your daily routine give you a little bit more energy maybe some workout juice whatever whatever however i helped you let me know in the comments section or if you just felt like this was a waste of time let me know in the comments section i'm always uh open to your opinions even if it's hateful spiteful comments i welcome it i welcome it all right guys i just want to thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next review thanks for watching